Hey, what's going on? Coming at you from Cebu City in the Philippines, of course. It is 9.30 in the morning on Thursday. I'm going to be heading over to Naga with some friends. Uh, they're organizing some stuff. They're going to be doing something today, so I was invited to go. Um, and again, Naga, Cebu City, don't know what it is. You all might know what it is, but I will uh, tag it. I will videotape it. I'll put it together and send it your way. Hopefully you like it, and let's start the day. Hey, here I am again, and we are in... Hopefully you guys can see that if you can if you can't I'll make it happen But yeah, we're in uh, Guanzon Beach, whatever the hell pronunciation and of course, you know, you got your AC rooms You got your suite rooms, beach rooms, camp rooms You got a bunch of different options that you can you got the phone number right there if you're in the area Bam, there you go And It is a pretty good location. It's a pretty hidden location So you got to make sure you use GPS unless you know where you're coming from where you're going uh, you got a bunch of tables over here again you got a bunch of areas you can sit down uh, it is definitely run by security and then you have first aid station then you have somewhere you can buy like a bite to eat little snacks and stuff like a uh, sorry sorry store and then right next to this is the blue pool water park so I'm gonna I guess everybody's waiting for everybody to get together and then when they all get together and stuff I'll take a video see what happens and I'll put it all together again as I go. Hopefully you like it. Hey, what's going on here again? Now we're in the entrance. Check this out. You're gonna love this. I think it's actually pretty cool for like a family. So you got some bungalows or whatever the hell these things are over here. They're like apartments or little, you know, you know, rooms that you can actually rent uh, for the day, for the hour, for whatever time you're here. I think it's, again, I'll check the prices and stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's daily. And check this out. I think it's just it's it's such a great place for kids. The beach is on the other side. I'm going to the beach to drone right now, kid. Hey there. So yeah, definitely a good experience. Water level is kind of like small, so if I end up hitting that thing, I'm probably gonna end up to be like a beach whale. So yeah, I mean you got plenty of parking on this side and across the street. So again, let's see what happens. Let's see what more I can get myself into. And what more I can bring you live from the Philippines. Oh, thank you. So check it out. So I'm going to walk over here. And as far as I know, there's no signs. There's nothing that says I cannot drone. But I'm going to drone it anyway and see what happens. The worst they can tell us is no. You see my point? But again, Philippines are not going to be like the United States or anywhere restricted. So... We will see exactly if I am allowed to drone. But I got a table down there with the whole crew on the left hand side, the first one on the left. And then I walked all the way up here and see what, you know, what we can get ourselves into. There's a lot of scenery here. But again, we will see what happens because, you know, my luck, I won't be able to do much of anything because they're going to tell me that I cannot fly the drone. But I'm not going to uh, say anything until I am told otherwise. So let's see what uh, I can get myself into over here. Alrighty. <laughs> so they want me to try this thing called Guinamos. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna show you what it is. When you see what it is, you're gonna be very shocked. Look at it. What you got? Small worms? <laughs> Small worms. <laughs> Those are, it's a fish. They say, yeah, they don't look like a fish to me. But I believe her. She said it's a, but it does. Yeah, look at the little eyes. Little so eyes. I'm going to try it. I'm going to eat them and their whole family. Really? Yeah. Huh? And it's. It's salty. I like it. Good. <laughs> Spicy. Tastes like bacalao. Bacalao. Uh huh. Bacalao is a uh, fish. Salty, salty fish. Mm -hmm. Now, but you guys know what I'm eating now. Check it out. It's seaweed and guso. Guso and lato. Yeah, that. Guso and what she said. Lato. Lato. Yeah, but it's good. I put some hot sauce because look at you know you know you gotta have the hot sauce, okay? <laughs> and then so now we're gonna end up eating a uh, chicken because every five seconds I'm eating. Look at yeah. that's pork, Pizza. but I want the chicken. Pizza. See? That's oh. oh damn! I didn't even see that. <laughs> the banana. The banana. Oh. 
They want me to try banana, but no. If I eat the banana, no. So, oh, check this out. Have a kamote. Have a kamote. Kamote yeah. and banana. They also have this. The kamote. This one also. Oh, check that out. Yeah. <laughs> And no. watch this. And what would be a Filipino dinner <laughs> without 40 pounds of rice? rice. <laughs> Look at what would be dinner or lunch or breakfast without 40 pounds of rice? So and I think they found out that a Puerto Rican's in the pool, so I gotta go. They're gonna sound the alarm. I gotta go. Hey, what's going on? So I'm waiting for that bucket to fall down, but I've been here all day trying to wait for that freaking bucket to fall down. Uh, and we're heading out of here. Had really good company, really good food. Um, hopefully that bucket falls by the time I leave, which I doubt. But oh, there it goes. And I didn't miss it. So I will attach all the stuff together. You guys subscribe. You guys show the love. Hope you like it. If you don't, don't know what to tell you. You're still going to see it anyway. So I'll catch you guys on the next video.